Hello my cylindrical psychedelics, it's your boy Zionic Blader, and in this video I will be ranking Cycloid Core from worst to best. I will be ranking them by their overall competitive viability in the Bakugan Pro game. But enough talk, let's get on with the list. Number 6, Aquas Cycloid. I would say the first three cycloids on this list are pretty bad, but the most mediocre out of them is the Aquas one. A poor core lineup of Green Fist and Shield which doesn't help its base stats of 506, so you would need to core swap for a Fire Fist. But why would you want to do that, especially since Aquas has so many other great Bakugan to use? Number 5, Pyrus Cycloid. Similar to its Aquas cousin, but with two shield cores which doesn't really help its 307 base stat line. At least its damage is higher, however Pyrus already has high damage Bakugan like Dragonoid Core. Pyrus Cycloid does have a 6 cost diamond evolution with the stat line of 1013 but with no effect. With its bad core lineup it is pretty underwhelming for the energy it costs. Number 4. Ventus Cycloid, a much better core lineup than the previous two because of the Fire Fist. However, it doesn't have the stats to make use of that Fire Fist. It does have an epic character card that adds an effect that reduces your opponent's damage by 3 when you add a Baku Gear onto it, but I would have preferred just having Ventus Cycloid actually have 3 more base damage instead. Number 3, Aurelis Cycloid. A core lineup of Shield and Green Fist, and a base stat line of 801. Usually, I would say it's bad, however, it does have the effect of gaining 2 damage when on a Green Fist, but with it totaling to 6 after landing on the plus 3 Fist core, it isn't worth it. However, it does gain 200 B power on a Shield core. Unfortunately, Aurelis can only use the plus 300 shield cores, meaning it reaches 1300, which is under the 1450B power we really want to see. And with no evolution, this Bakugan is stuck at almost being good. You may find success with it in a mono Aurelis team perhaps, but I can't really say how good that kind of team would be. Number 2, Chaos Cycloid. Once again, a core lineup of Green Fist and Shield. It feels like the developers really like this core lineup for some reason. Luckily, with a stat line of 207, when on the plus 3 Green Fist, it reaches that minimum 10 damage we like to see for damage wins plays. Number 1, Darkest Cycloid. By far the best Cycloid released, and one of the best Darkest Bakugan in the game, Darkest Cycloid has an amazing core lineup of Double Fire Fist, and a great stat line to take advantage of it with 200 B power and 8 damage. Meaning, when on the plus 6 Fire Fist, it reaches a spicy 14 damage. On top of that, when on a Fire Fist, it gains 600 B power and Shadow Strike. While the B power isn't really anything special, the Shadow Strike makes it immune to stat reducing effects. This Bakugan is a great Bakugan for damage wins plays, but especially for Serpentee's burn decks because of the Fire Fists it brings. And with its high base damage, it means it can even be used for highest damage wins plays when using the plus 3 damage green fist that Serpentee's brings, making it the number 1 Cycloid Core. Well, this has been Zionic Blader with my worst to best video. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comment section below and be sure to let me know your favorite Cycloid core from Bakugan Armored Alliance. And if you like this video, hit the like button or don't. I'm not the boss of you, but be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya!